Mental Gym. It's me, Divinder, your friendly neighborhood full stack developer. All right, so I've got a new tool for you guys. It's not Lua this time. It's actually an outside of DU tool. Uh, currently, it is a console tool with a GUI coming. Uh, it is a utility tool to be used alongside the Vertex Precision tool. Now, I am pressed for time, so this demo uh, slash tutorial is going to have to be a little short and sweet, but I'm going to try and be thorough uh, and at least get you kind of the gist of how it goes on. Uh, so, with that being said, the first thing I want to do is show you where we're going with this. Uh, a lot of times I've taught a lot of people to code over the years, and often when I have them do a project, I will often show, show them what the finished project looks like before I ask them to even start it so that they know where they're going, know what they're aiming at. And I kind of like the same here. So for that, let me real, pull up, real quickly pull up my uh, DU creators. And I want to show you what my stuff looked like before I made my utility tool for the Vertex Precision. So here's an example of my space Harley called the March Hare. Uh, not awful. Definitely not great. It's very basic. I was proud of it back in the day, but you know, you know how you do. You look at your old work and you're like, you gads. Uh, another one was the Flamingo. It's a great ship, a great story behind it. But again, not the worst thing ever, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely not the best, most bestest version of Oxmancy ever. Very bloggy, very Minecrafty. Uh, the next one is probably my best ship I made uh, without my tool was this guy here. Again, still very Minecrafty. It's got some nice little grooves, stuff like this, but it's still, again, very blocky, very Minecrafty. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's definitely not like a shiny example of Voxelmancy. All right. Now, let me show you the very first thing I have made with the Vertex Precision Tool utility tool I have. Which is this guy here, uh, the Dormouse. Uh, between the last thing I made before this was uh, the Manta. So I jumped from the Manta to this guy. And I'm not saying this is the best ship ever, but I believe you can definitely see a jump in quality uh, for the type of voxelmancy that was done for the ship, like a massive leap in voxelmancy this. All right, uh, like you can see all kinds of like intricate little designs, uh, little like super thin voxels, you know, nice awkward angles, very thin things. Everything's laid out in a really nice way. Uh, and one of the key components is like the voxels are very thin. So if I go like in the build mode here, I hold up like a shape of our original voxel, you can see like a lot of these voxels, especially these walls here, are super thin. Even though they're at like really awkward angles, which is, you know, if you've done Vox Mancy, it's kind of hard to do. You know, you've got these little thin divots here. Just a general, like, these guys, like type wall is all very thin. Okay, and like, these little dudes back here, little vents, like again, super thin, awkward angles, kind of hard stuff to do. Uh, but my Vertec Precision Tool, uh, Utility Tool, helps take all, a lot of the pain. Uh, and so while like I say I did this in like a ship in a single day, uh, my tool really took out like 80% of the difficulty. And that's kind of my hope with the, the tool. The, by the way, the tool is called Vertex. Uh, but the Vertex Precision Tool took out 80% of the difficulty of Vox Mancy. Uh, but it still looks like it was 20% difficulty. My hope is, is that my utility tool will help take out, like, again, another 80% of difficulty out of the Vertex Precision tool, and it will be used side by side. All right, so now that you've seen kind of what it can do when applied and kind of learn to master it, uh, let's go into downloading and getting to use it. So let's close this out, bring up my browser again. We're going to go to my GitHub. The link for my GitHub will be in the video description. We're going to go to, again, my GitHub, repositories, Verhex console. 
Scroll down here to the right hand side, look for releases. Verhex Beta 0 0.1.2. Uh, there'll be more releases coming. Just always grab the latest, it'll be your safe bet. But for right now, there's only one, so let's grab it. These things are going to pull up. You're looking for the Verhex 0 0.1.2, it's the only one you need. You're going to click it. Download's going to pop up. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. All right. Uh, here it is. My, I downloaded to my desktop. Now, when you go to click it the first time, a little warning box is going to pop up saying, hey, this is untrusted code. Are you sure you want to run it? Uh, there's probably a more info button that you'll have to click first to get to the, uh, the actual allow it to run. And if you have issues, let me know. Try to get everyone sorted. Uh, now, generally... I work in code security. Uh, I really do not suggest just downloading and randomly running code that somebody has written out there. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to, if you download a tool, awesome, great. I hope you use it, do it. Generally, it's just as a secure, as a security minded developer, as someone who works in security. Don't download random chunks of code off the web that someone has told you to download. You, you you tread at your own risk here. I could, if I was malicious, I could really easily mess up your day and just do all kinds of nasty stuff to you. So I don't recommend doing this. Uh, the full release version, the non-beta version of this, will end up being a web app. And I'll show you it here in a second. It will be a web app. There will be no download. It will just be a website you go to. But for right now, until I can get the GUI done... The website version of this is done uh this is what i have to offer you and it's going to be a little bit before the website version gets done simply because my life is very very busy uh work is being very demanding i also own a farm it's being very demanding the amount of time i have to do anything is very small again why this video is kind of being rushed <laughs> uh so that being said for right now it's a lot for right now it's a console a gui version is coming uh and let me show you that real quick I go here. This is going to be the GUI version. I'll press it. It'll start it up. It'll take just a hot second. My computer is very old and very slow. Oh, but it didn't take... Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so again, it's not done, but you can kind of see uh, over here is going to be, you know, it'll show you actually what you're building. It'll be a graphical user interface. You can you can point and rotate the, the the voxels over. You can kind of change them, and you can kind of see what you what you're doing, what you're doing before you actually build it into game in a way. Now again, we're not. This is not like you're gonna load up a ship file and have like all of the angles for a ship. You're dealing with small chunks of well, not necessarily small chunks, but you're dealing with you know simple portions of what would eventually become a ship. Uh, but again. This is just a very helpful utility tool to help you bring your creations to life, not necessarily not necessarily be creative for you or build it for you. It's it basically takes the vertex precision tool and makes it kind of a paint by numbers game. So let's let's get to that. Let me close this. All right, so we're gonna click it. Like I said, you may have to like go through a little dialogue before it lets you open it. When it opens, it's just a command line tool. Uh, anytime you use a command line tool, always first thing you should do, type help, see the useful commands. Uh, the very first thing we want to do is set the options. So the tool itself is called uh, Verhex here. Uh, now, before we can use Verhex, we need to set some options. So let's see what the options are. So we have a height, a length, a width, and a height offset. Uh, the height is the height in voxels of the angle. The length is the length in voxels of the angle. The width is uh, the uh, width of the voxels along that angle. And that's kind of hard to describe in just words, so I'll show you in a second. But basically, if you notice how long my, my uh, outdoor mouse, a lot of the walls and stuff like that, the angles, they are really thin. They were actually a full voxel. That's where you specify how thin or thick you want your, uh, your like, voxel angle to be. And the height offset is one... Unless you're an experienced Voxomancer and you don't mind making your life really, really hard, I don't recommend dealing with that one. I've done it a few times, and most of the time I regret it. Uh, but basically, it lets you specify an offset. So if you don't want to start at the very, be if you don't want to start an angle at the very beginning of a uh, 
of a voxel, uh, you can offset it a little bit, or as, as much as you want, really. Again, it'll make your life hard. I don't recommend it. You know, be smart, don't do drugs, that kind of deal. All right, so let's set these. So we're going to do set length, and we're going to do 15. So it's going to be 15. The angle is going to be 15 voxels long. We're going to set the height, and we're going to set it to 2. We're going to do like it's going to be very long, but not very high. So height is actually set. Uh, now we're going to do the width. Oops. Set width. And we're going to do 21. 21 is one fourth of a voxel. Uh, so it's a nice little number there. And we can make sure everything's set by going options again. And now you can see it's updated from zero in value to the respective values we got. I apologize. I am currently working on another update to kind of make this a little smoother. I'll, I'll continue to add things to this over time as I work on both the console app and the, the, the full release version. Uh, cause, cause really the, the full release version of web app really just sits on top of what is this console application. So they really are the same thing. It's just one's got a GUI, one doesn't. And it's the GUI part, it's just not done yet. Uh, but the, the width part, it says it's not required. Right now it, it really is. I apologize. That really should be yes. Uh, I'll, I'll get that fixed here shortly. In a little bit, it won't be required, but it is right now. Again, apologies. All right, so now we've set everything. So we've got, you know, a height of two, a length of 15. Uh, each voxel is gonna be 21 in length and along the angle. So let's go ahead and calculate that out so we can paint by numbers and we type in vertex to do that, hit enter and bam. All right, now there's a lot to take in right here, but I'll try and lay it out in a nice, uh, hopefully easy to understand words because I'm also good at the words. All right, so over here, you basically have your index, uh, so your, or your row number. So, you know, voxel, starting, we're programmers, we start at zero, but really it's voxel one, two, three, four, along the, uh, uh, along the length. Uh, over here, I have an, uh, an up point and the up width and the down point and the down width. You kind of pick, it's your preference which one you use. I think most people, myself included, will use the down point and the down width. And what this refers to is basically, this is the main point of the angle. So this is probably like what the, the person would see, generally speaking. And then the down width is basically the, I don't really have great word for this. I can see it in my head, but it's hard to put it in English. But and it, it all, it'll make sense when I actually go to make something here in a second. But basically this is the top of the angle and this is the this is the vertice for the top of the angle at its position along the ar array of voxels. And this is the uh, the width section for where the bottom vertice is going to go so you can achieve that width. Uh, this is the vertice index, the VI. Uh, the first row is the index along the length. The second row is the index along the height. So you can see uh, each voxel, uh, as we transition over here, is for, <clears throat> excuse me, is for uh, a brand new voxel along the length. So it's always going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way down to 15. And here you're saying, okay, 0, so we're still in that first voxel. Okay, we, we've transitioned one voxel over lengthwise, but we're still in that same voxel height uh, on the height. Again, still the same height, still the same height, still the same height, even though we're transitioning over here on the length. And it isn't until we get to eight that we actually go, okay, now we're working into the uh, a, the voxel along the second height vector. And it goes all the way down until you finish where it just kind of flops over to two. Uh, and again, I'm trying to describe this as a can of words, but this is more of a visual thing. Uh, but it's just more tools to help you understand. Again, once you start using it, it really should become really pretty easy to read pretty quickly. Uh, next is the size of the steps. So this is the size of the step each row is taking along the length, uh, or sorry, along the, is the steps high you go as you go along the length. Uh, so, you know, 11, 11, 12 here, back to 11, 11. And the reason they vary is because the angle is kind of, again, it's, it's, too high, 15 long, it's kind of an awkward angle. And so it's not always gonna be perfect. 
and so it bumps up and back down it's doing its best to keep it as smooth as the game will let it be that's why it's doing that so when you see that like 11 and it just jumps randomly 12 it's like it's determined that right there is the best place to do that to get that nice smooth look and i've already started this angle <clears throat> excuse me uh i've already started this angle uh on a place here so let me go show you that let me bring up the game real quick boop Here to my little workspace. Please don't judge my base. Uh, it is never, never fancy. All right. And okay, so here you can see I've, I've done a few here. I'm kind of playing with as I was making sure everything was working. Here is the angle we've started. Uh, I've color coded it so it's a little easier to see what I've done. Uh, but you can see here if I start, it's you know. One. There we go. It's 84 for that top one. Uh, you know, for this top one here, again, it's 84. Uh, whoop, whoop. Here we go. If I go along the array, you can see uh, I am now at 72, which is, if I go over here, uh, oh, I might have that wrong. Uh, looks like it's supposed to be 73. Oh well. Uh, I'm not perfect. Go along. Okay, so now it's 62. And 62. Next one should be 50 along your array. Yep, 50. And you just kind of keep going. You know, 39. Perfect. Over here. 28. Perfect. So you got. 28 here for voxel 5, 28 here, you move over again, this one's 17, so, and there you go, 17, so you're matching up, 17, 17, alright, 6, there you go, 6, and 6, and I'm not building this right now because it would take longer and I just, I do not have the free time to do that, I apologize. Uh, okay, and now we get to one of the first tricky spots. I am adding the ability to have it do the transitional points for you shortly. I did not have time to do that just yet. So if you'll notice here, uh, we are transitioning over. So if you notice, we have went from 6 to 78. And we've also went from, well, we went from link 7 to 8. We're also now going from the height index of 0 to the height index of 1. How you handle, there's multiple ways of handling this, ways you can do it, and how you do it is really up to you. You can see my preferred way of doing it. Uh, basically, I have two voxels I kind of merge together, uh, and I just basically, in the, the bottom row, at the bottom of the, uh, the, at the bottom of the new row, and start, uh, and start here, and you know, <clears throat> again, I'm not really great at the English here, I apologize, but you can kind of see what I've done where I've kind of split the baby with this voxel. It doesn't tell you to do that here. Your your clue to do that is that it's transitioning from a zero to one and that it's also started recounting here. Uh, now, for the second caller, the down width and, it, and respectively the up width, we can go here. So here we're, uh, we're at negative six. So it tells you that the down width is, uh, we're six on here, 57. So if I go to the position tool and I just move the vertice down to the bottom there, you can see, okay, now it says 57. Oops. Oops. There you go. 56. And uh turn my right this one blank on me, I apologize. Uh, and so you see it just matches up. And so your your top here is that first row, where it's the top of the angle, and your down here is your down width. And that's basically telling you where to move the bottom vertice so that your width is mostly that consistent, you know, 21. And that's, that's how you do that. Uh, yeah, for some reason it doesn't really look that smooth. I think it's the color choice I use, because like, here's this guy I did, and he's smooth as hell, and I think it's because of the, the, the black one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, it still looks smooth, but, like, looking at it through, like, the video thing, like, it does not look nearly as smooth in the video. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure why. It looks kind of janky, but I think that's just the poor quality of my video. Anyway, uh, like you can see, like the, the angles are, are really smooth and stuff. But anyway, yeah, so that's how you use it. That is the, the crux of it. There's some other things going on. Uh, when I get time, I'll probably do more videos on this. To actually do one from start to finish so you have something to, to do with. Again, it's just right now, uh, you know, my job is just taking up all my free time. And my uh, we own a farm, my wife and I do. And I help her on the weekends with that. And that's just us also eating my time. So it's just the amount of time I actually have to play right now is... You know, 15 minutes here, 10 minutes here, maybe 30 minutes, you know, here and there. Uh, and that's just how things are. Uh, eventually, I will get back to a more normal, healthy work-life balance, but that's probably a couple months off at the earliest. So until then, uh, it's probably just going to be very small updates, and then hopefully I'll get the GUI thing done for us at some point here. And that should make this a lot simpler. But at least, hey, you guys have this now. It, it's working. Uh, again, I am more than welcome for feedback, uh, or more welcome to take feedback, criticism, you know, maybe feature request, uh, that kind of stuff. I know one thing I'm already working on, on the to-do list, is complementary angles. So if you have, like, an angle you want, but you want an angle to go with it, but you don't really know, like, how to make something look nice with it, uh, I have a little thing I do already to kind of make angles look nice with each other, like, angles that complement each other. And it wouldn't take too much to build that into here. It's already on the to-do list. So that'll be coming shortly, probably. And it'll just pop out some, you know, complimentary angles that you could use to help make things nicer. Then if anyone else has got feature requests, I am not going to promise anything, but I'll very least, at the very least be willing to hear uh, any requests that you guys have. Uh, also, if anybody else wants to take what I've got here and feels like, you know what, I like to take out as a challenge, I'd like to, to work on this, you are free to clone the repository and make it your own. You're also free to just add commits and stuff like that. And, you know, I am more than willing to share this project. It doesn't necessarily have to be my baby. I'm happy for it to be my baby, but it doesn't have to be. So if anybody else wants to jump on this bandwagon and help, uh, I'm more than happy to do that. But this was my uh, short, sweet, and simple video on this. Like, subscribe. All the classic YouTube stuff. Uh, I think I have a buy me coffee link. Should anyone feel so inclined as to uh, provide me caffeine to turn into code, always a plus. But yeah, that's that's the tool. Uh, message me in game. Message me in Discord. All the links and stuff are gonna be in the video description. Uh, you know, I'm out. You guys have a good one.